Hello everybody, today we have a PlayStation 5 HDMI 4 repair. I've set up the, uh, I've assembled the unit already, so we're going to go ahead and replace this HDMI port today. I put some Teflon on the important components, and uh, I'm ready to repair it. So we're going to keep this video simple and to the point, okay? Straight to the point. We're going to start by heating up the board. Or is that part of the board? And the top. It should only take, it actually only takes about a minute maybe a minute and a half maybe two minutes to to heat up properly and and fall so we want to be careful not to overheat it and to catch it when it when it drops So the HDMI is out. And that is out. So that's uh, ready to be cleaned up and worked on. We, I like to wait just a minute to to let the board cool down. In the meantime, we can turn on our fume extractor. Prepare the other HDMI. So that HDMI we re we just removed is this one here. You can see the pins are bent on one end. And we're going to turn the board over. I think that's the best I can focus at the moment. We are going to clean those pads. The pads are nice and puffy, clean, shiny. So we are ready now to place our new HDMI port.
We're going to be touching those pads now. For that, I'm going to add a little more flux. We want those pants to solder all the way from the back, so I like to leave the soldering iron there just a little bit so that the heat goes all the way to the back of that leg. Here we can turn this around like this. And on these, I like to get a little bit of solder wire and touch those pins just a bit. Just add a little more solder, okay? So, like this. Just a little solder. get those pins really nice and puffy that ensures and we make sure that that HDMI does not come back If you get a, a bridged point there, nothing to worry about. You clean and tin your solder iron, add a little flux, and suck it up with the solder iron alone. Okay, I hope you're going to see that. So we know that there's a good amount of solder on each pin, as you can see there. Very nice and, and, and puffy. We know that the, the, that the pins are nice and, and soldered together. So now that we have that, we, we turn this over. I turn this over. And I like to... Let's see, zoom in here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I bend those pins inward a little bit, and the reason I do that is to hold that, that port in place so that when I solder this top, or the bottom in this case, that port doesn't fall, just in case I heat it up too much. It's always going to stay there, and it, it gives me enough time to solder those pin holes thoroughly. solder
come in with a little more heat. Help that solder flow through. You can see the solder kind of running through or shrinking. That means it's flowing through all the way. This is my method, the method I've used for a long time. Hopefully you guys can pick something up from here. And if you guys need service or help, you can always contact us via our website at yal.org w-a-y-a-y-e-o dot org see that's a nice job so we're going to go ahead and verify the pins make sure they're soldered well you can see that the solder flowed all the way through really nice see that and same here and same on the other ends Let's take a closer look at those pins at the bottom. Very nice. Hopefully you guys can see that there is no bridges. And we are going to go ahead and verify that anyways. I've had some... Several consoles. People bring them back from um, other places of installation where these pins lift up they don't have enough solder and I just retouch them and do what I just did here anyways thank you for watching hopefully you guys can subscribe hit like visit our website it's uh, on our description if you have questions comment and we'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you bye bye now